Hi, I'm Tim and welcome to this video. A while back, I did a video on Home Assistant on how to add a RioLink video doorbell integration into Home Assistant so that whenever somebody rang your doorbell, it would create a pop-up of the video screen of your doorbell on your Home Assistant dashboard and also your Home Assistant kiosk. Well, in this video, as Home Assistant has had a few updates, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to create the RioLink video doorbell pop-up and also pop-up on the Home Assistant kiosk. But not only that, but I will show you how to wake up the Home Assistant kiosk screen should the kiosk screen be blank. So keep watching this video and I'll show you how. So here we are at the computer screen and as you can see I've logged in to Home Assistant and I'm currently at the dashboard. Now in this video I'm going to assume that you've already added the RioLink integration into Home Assistant. Now if you haven't then you can look at my channel or look at the links in the video description and I'll put a link to the video where I show you how to integrate the RioLink integration into Home Assistant. And also I'm assuming that you've already added hacks into Home Assistant where you'll see at the left hand side. And I'll also put a link in the video description for my video on how to install hacks if you don't already have that. So what we're going to do first is select hacks at the left hand side. Then this will take you into the screen where it shows you the hacks that you've already downloaded. So we've got hacks, mushroom cards, and also clock weather card. What we're going to be doing in the search bar at the top, so click in the search bar at the top here, and then type in bubble, and this will reveal bubble card. So what you need to do is click on bubble card, then in the bottom right corner, select the download button, and then it will ask you with a pop-up on screen about bubble card version 2.4.0 will be downloaded. Now this is the version at the time of recording this video on the 16th of May 2025. So what we need to do is just click on download. This will then download bubble card. As you can see, it's now asking us to reload. So just select reload and now it has installed bubble card. So click the back arrow at the top then you will see we've got downloaded bubble card. So in the search box at the top, just click the X button to clear the search and then it will reveal all the downloads for hacks that you've already downloaded. So we've got clock weather card, which you may or may not have. And but we have got bubble card, which is what we wanted. So now that we've got the bubble card, we can go to the overview screen at the left hand side. And this will take you into your Home Assistant dashboard. So what we're going to be doing is creating the pop-up that will appear with the video when somebody rings our doorbell. So this applies to rear link doorbells, of course. So what we need to do is in the top right, click Edit Dashboard. So that's the pen icon. Then in the bottom right corner, select Add Card. Then in the search cards, what we're going to be doing is searching for vertical. So type in vertical. And as you can see, we've got vertical stack. So select this, then it will bring up the vertical stack card configuration screen. So in the title, we can leave this blank, but in the search cards, click in that box and type in bubble. And you will see we've now got bubble card, select bubble card. Then this will take you into the vertical stack card configuration with all the bubble card information here. So in the card type, what we're going to be doing is selecting this option. And what you need to do is select pop up from the drop down list. Then in the hash line where it says hashtag pop up name, you need to rename this. So leave the hash in there and then just type doorbell after the hash like so. So once you've typed in the name in the hash, so you should have the hash and then the name. So in this case, I'm calling it doorbell. So I recommend you just calling it the same. What we need to do then is select pop up trigger. So in pop up trigger, click the arrow. And then what we're going to do is select add condition. So click on add condition. And then what we're going to do is select 
entity state. So once you've selected entity state in the entity box where it says select an entity, click the arrow. And then what we're going to be doing is searching for our, the name of our doorbell. So in my case, it's DBL. However, you just need to know the name of your doorbell on your real link application and then search for that. So you'll see we've got DBL and then we've got various options. And what we're going to be doing is looking for visitor. So you should see visitor and then the name of your doorbell underneath. In this case, it's visitor DBL1. And it looks like a picture of your doorbell with a button in it. So select this and then where it says state is equal to leave that as it is. So leave that box showing state is equal to. But then in the state box next to it, click the drop down arrow and then select on. So you should have state is equal to and then in the next box it should be on. So once you've done that, you can scroll down to the bottom and leave everything as it is. Scroll back to the top and then at the top, what we're going to be doing is clicking the add button. So click the plus and this will then add another card. So in the search cards box, what we're going to be doing is typing in picture. So once you've typed in picture, you should scroll down and you should see picture entity with a picture of a bed and looking out of a window. So click this and then you should have the picture appeared next to the vertical stat card configuration settings here at the right hand side. So once you have that, then what we're going to be doing is in the entity box, you will see we've got disable LEDs for SIG1. So what we do, we don't want that. So click in the box and it will then bring the drop down. So what we're going to be doing in the search again is type in DBL. So the name of your doorbell again, but this time we're going to be selecting fluent. So you should see fluent and then the name of your doorbell. So you need to select this. And this will then appear with a picture of your video doorbell in the vertical stack card configuration here. If it doesn't, it means you've not selected the correct entity. So you need to go back to your search here in this box and select the correct entity. So once you've done that, you can scroll down to the bottom and then select save. And you will see it will take you back to your Home Assistant overview dashboard and here you should see a small picture of your video doorbell. So once you see that next to all your other dashboard entries, click done in the top right corner and then the video will disappear. But now once someone presses the video doorbell, so once they press the button on your rear link video doorbell, you'll get a pop up on screen. However, as I've said in the Home Assistant kiosk, if somebody rings your doorbell, and you say your home assistant kiosk screen is blank. So the screen is being dimmed or you press the power button temporarily on your tablet to turn the screen black, then the video pop up will not appear. But I found a solution to that. So what we're going to be doing now is creating an automation which will wake up your home assistant kiosk screen so that your video doorbell video screen appears on the Home Assistant kiosk. So to do this, what we need to do is go to settings at the left hand side and then select automations and scenes. So once you've selected automations and scenes, as you'll see we have done here, it takes you into the automations that you've already created. Now what we need to do is create a new automation. So to do this in the bottom right corner, click create automation. Then what we're going to be doing with the pop-up box is select create new automation and then you will get new automation with when and if and then do. In the when section you need to select the add trigger. So click add trigger. Then in the add trigger search box what we need to do is select entity. So click on entity and then in the second entity pop-up screen here you will see we've got numeric state and state. What you need to do is select state. So it's the one with the triangle next to it. Then in the when option, we've got entity and then select entity. So click in the select an entity box and start typing visitor. And you will see we've got visitor and the name of our doorbell. 
So select this and you should see it's got an icon with a dot in it. So click on this and you'll now see we've got entity, visitor, and then it's doorbell. So the DBL one or the name of your doorbell. And then what we're going to do is in the two box, which is optional, click the arrow and then select on. And then once you've got on in the two box, you need to scroll down and select under then do select add action. Then in the pop up box, you'll see we've got device, button, camera, image, light and so on. So what we're going to be doing is selecting device and then scroll down your screen a little and then you should see under then do we've got device action. So click in the device line and then what we're going to be doing is searching for the name of our home assistant kiosk tablet. So in my case it's tab one. So you'll see we've now got device tab one. So we'll select this and then in the action box underneath the device and tab one we've got turn off tab one screensaver. So what we're going to be doing click the arrow and change this selection to turn on tab one screen. So it should be near the top. You've got turn on tab one screensaver, but we don't want that. The selection we want is turn on tab one screen. Or in your case, it will be turn on and then the name of your tablet and then screen. So select this and then all we need to do is click save in the bottom right corner. And then in the save pop up window, it will say we've got a name of new automation. So in this case, we'll rename it and call it turn on kiosk screen and then click save in that pop up window. And then we've now got the automation saved. So to go back to the list of automations, click the left arrow at the top here and you'll now see that we've got turn on kiosk screen. So what it will do is now wake up your kiosk screen whenever somebody rings your doorbell and then the video doorbell pop up will appear on your kiosk screen. So that'll do it for this video and I'll be back again soon with more videos. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and bye for now.